Mustang engine videos. I think my brightness up a little bit too much. So, there she is. We haven't touched her in weeks. Um, waiting on tools and time. You can see it's cold. I'm in the garage. It's still pretty freaking cold. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get started. We're gonna get this crank pulley off. We get this lower cover off. Get this cam bridge thing. I, I keep forgetting what the name is. I need to look it back up. Get that off of there because I got the tools for that now. We can start getting the guides out, chains off, and then uh, I think from there we can start untorquing the head. Pretty sure. Uh, I think. Or at least, well, for the cams, untorquing to get the cams out and then the head. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So before you take it off, you gotta find, ooh, let's get her to focus. See that notch right there? There's a nice boop notch there, and there's an arrow right there. You gotta get those two to match up. So I'm gonna swing this baby around until it gets there. That puts the uh, car at TDC, and we'll wanna keep it there for the remainder of this, re this unbuild, rebuild, yeah. This dang thing by yourself is the struggle. Um, I pretty much had them on like a V like this, like this, and I just like pulled them apart. It took a minute, like trying to keep this still in here. Like it doesn't, it's hard to see where the pins go in, and then holding it just right because it, you know, it wants to fall out, and then having the tool in here, actually might help to have the tool from the back side. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, it's loose, loose now, good. Right. Now I can eat this boy off right quick. And uh, I need to make sure this thing's still at TDC, which it is not actually. I'm not too much in the way here. So you can kind of see here where the keyway is, that bigger slice is how it gets lined up. We got uh, right there, that's a gear that the pulley sits on and then uh, the other side of this is the crank. So this actually holds this oil pump gear um, in place. So if you're ever swapping out for like a fluid amp or anything like there's a special tool that holds this in place so it doesn't come loose which, I mean it doesn't feel like it it did at all we'll see when we take this cover off that's what's what's next here no I don't know if this cover is going to try it's going to be able to come right off there is sealant Maybe I'll take this razor around real quick. I don't know if you guys can see down here. I kind of just like put a screwdriver at the bottom. Does it show? And like down here at the bottom, kind of like pressed up. Most of it kind of popped. I did a little bit at this corner. It's definitely kind of still stuck. It's got a lot of sealing over here. Work my way around. At least the top is still good. I don't think the bottom was. I think I've been leaking oil out of this bottom area for a while. Right on the, all over my subframe. And shit, it made it real nasty. But over there. Oh, here we go. Woo! So looking here at the book, making sure everything's lined up the way it's supposed to. I had 
my arrow is on the lower cover and I just checked up here make sure that these dots I don't know if I'll even be able to get to focus there's like a little dot and that little U right there and that matches up to that notch that little triangle back there in the middle and I got a bigger one right there and it matches up with this one of course it doesn't want to focus but there's a little dot there boom I think uh, next up it's going to have us mess with these valves and they're spool valves and that's one of the tools I needed that uh, Clifton gave me so or let me borrow so once again shout out to him getting things done so you can kind of see in the center here you got these two offset holes on each one this tool here has those pins and we're going in taking them off they go clockwise I did kind of move everything when I did that so I broke this one loose and left it I kind of marred up that spot a little bit too but let me get this one loose and then crank the whole thing around and get it back up to uh, TDC it's kind of a pain to do I didn't want to stay in there too well it doesn't say to lock anything down or anything so there we go boom okay I'm gonna rotate everything back around real quick well I really didn't want to put this pulley back on and spin everything so I'll just leave it where it's at get these out of here I can take off this bridge thing should probably mark these Right and left. Oh, that is interesting looking. I have to get a close up on that. Oh, come on. There we go. So that's what we're taking out of there. Really neat. A little filter in there and everything. That's cool. Very cool. There's a slightly better look at one. Pretty. Sorry, camera down on this last clip, but now the book says I can take out these six and then remove this thing. So we're going to hop right to that. It doesn't have any particular sequence here to breaking these loose, so I'm just break the torf real quick and I'll eat them all out. And we'll get this, uh, this off of here. Just fall off on me. Boom. Looks like it has its own guide there to go in, and then it also has a pin over here for the timing chain as well. It's neat. Hmm. You can kind of see. Uh, I hate that my camera doesn't like to focus, but you can see like little holes inside here that went to those uh, little f spool things we just removed. I imagine it has to do something with timing. It's all off of oil pressure and stuff, but that's the back side, front side. You can kind of see inside the lips there. It's neat. So reading through here, it says at one point that I definitely need like a second hand, but um, next up, after getting that spool out, we took those six out, got the cover off. Now we gotta take out those middle two and I'll throw it in the bag with those. And then we gotta lock this uh, chain tensioner. You see, they, they put it like a long boy through there. They press up against it and then I gotta mess around here. Let's see if we can focus today. There's this little guy right here. I'm going to have to hold on to that, squeeze this together while we put pressure on this to click it in. And then I have this little, uh, this little bracket here. It'll slide right on top. It has like some notches there. It'll slide right, right onto there and then hold this thing from, from popping out. And that'll relieve a bunch of the chain pressure. And then I already put this tool on. I got to put the other one on this side to lock the cams. And then I can take out start taking out the other ten like the actual uh, chain guides I think I'm learning as I go 
So bear with me here, guys. Sorry, I don't have the best lighting, y'all, but I got my screwdriver in here, putting pressure up against this tensioner to push that, that guy in, like I was just telling y'all about. I got it in a little bit off camera. I didn't want to do it and then have to undo it. So I could just, I don't even need that tool. I could just squeeze it myself here. Oh boy, right into the oil. Fantastic. Only source of light here. Okay, this is a little tough on the hand here. I didn't have to pinch this uh, this guy up here. It wouldn't be as bad. Well, that was a little bit of a struggle, but I uh, got it. Now this little bracket's on there, keeping the tension off this. This can kind of move freely here now. Next up, I got to lock the cams up completely. Like I said, I already got the one in. Has a little notch there. Goes in the tooth, boom. Do the other side. I think we can really start pulling these uh, guides out. So, Looking at the book here, I put these in to lock the camshafts. If it doesn't line up, then there's a special tool that holds onto this so you can rotate it a little bit so you can get your teeth in. Now it's saying to undo this and then I'll be able to slide this uh, guide out the bottom. And then after this one, I do this one. Then I think I lock this one up and then do this one. And then I can set the chain down or something. I don't know. It's a pretty, uh, pretty intense stuff going on here. Learned a lot though. It's really cool. Should just be able to zip this bad boy on out. It's a big old T50. It falls right out for me. Nice. That works. Neat. Like that. Very cool. Clips at the bottom or the top? There we go. Boom. Out. Next up says remove the tensioner here. Oh yeah. Some good oil out of there. Moving on from there, we're going down to this one. You can kind of see like that spring looking thing there. It keeps tension right here. Well, there's a hole it goes through and this little tool pops in and takes the tension off. I guess it's kind of odd the way you think it'd go further. But I mean the tension is off of it, so there's that. And I think we can take that off now. Yep, and we can take this off. Seems kind of dangerous. But, uh... Oh, okay, there we go. Where's the camera? Boom. See how the little guy just holds it there? Neat. It's the next day, I decided to call it quits last night after an hour and a half phone call. I didn't feel like coming back out of here and doing much, so. Um, here we are. You guys, obviously this is not much time difference for y'all, but. So I kind of wanted to go over, I don't know, realize, realize if I did or really didn't talk about things here. So you got your closest up chain here. This is for your balance shafts. You got a balance shaft here, balance shaft there, and you got your guides and stuff. That's what's still basically installed. And then in, on the second chain here, that is for your cams, right? So crank the cams, crank the balance shafts, and then this last chain here goes to the oil pump. So you go chain to oil pump. This is like a, a three tier system kind, and this whole gear, you can see it's kind of loose now. This whole gear comes off. Um, 
Open in a book. We're gonna take off this tensioner here from the outside. And then uh, this will loosen up this chain and I can just pop all these out. There's no, no nothing real special there. And I can take the chain off there. Um, from there, this should be loose enough, which I think it already is. And I can pull the chain off um, for the oil pump as well. So we'll get right to that. After that, I think we can, uh, from there, I should be able to take the cams, start getting the cams out, which will be the end of this video then. Huh. Here we are now, broke this tensioner loose. Pull this guy right on out. Ooh, it uh, definitely does things. There's that. The book doesn't give any specifics on what order to take these T50s out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just eat them out real quick. Well, now all the guides and tensioners are off of here. You can see that this guy just kind of wants to fall off. So we'll pull off this lower chain. Drop that down and pull this guy up. I believe this is supposed to be replaced every time. That's what the book was saying last night. Um, see here you kind of got a little focus. Please. You got like this flat spot. It needs to be at the very top for TDC. There's also a spot there on the crank where it's flat. Um, this needs to be rotated back around but Everything is getting taken apart, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and from here, I'm going to take off the rest of the chains here. And then, uh, I think from there, I can start on the cams. So here's some kind of cool things we can look at. Um, I don't know if this is even cool. Well, you can't get the chain alpha here until you pull the oil pump. So uh, there's that. That's stuck. You can like freely move the, uh, the balance shafts. So when you move this one on this side, you can see over here it moves uh, that belt that's for the water pump so someone was asking me about balance shaft deletes and I, I don't think anyone really does those on the mark 7 I think it was kind of popular for the mark 6 and stuff but in through this hole here let me change the you can see the rod get that light in there you can see the rod clear as day that's pretty cool in the crank it's very neat, neat stuff. I wish I could show you more on camera, but it's hard to show. But it's cool. We got a rod right in front of us, a rod over there. It's neat. Very, very cool stuff. So, I am going to end the video here. Hopefully it's at least 10 minutes long. I know it wasn't the most uh, exciting thing in the world, but getting that pulley off and getting those chains off is like, something I've been wanting to do for weeks now like we've been way behind on how I wanted to get this done but it really it seems like it's all kind of panning out I'll be able to have this off the head off like today if I really wanted to so that gives me a couple weeks to get some plans in motion for a machine shop um, I close on my house on the 29th so at that point I'll have some money again um, and I can get this machine work done. So we're looking right at the beginning of the new year, getting this to a shop and start uh, getting the head ported and polished and cleaned up and the block bored out and cleaned and all that stuff. So we still got a handful of accessories that's on the motor. There's some sensors, there's, you know, the stuff, things, a lot of things. I'm going to take it off the stand at some point to, uh, Get that rear main seal out and uh, I forget what they call it like the upper oil pan I guess or whatever and the oil pump and all that stuff I don't know if they want me to bring the block up there with the crank still installed and they can uninstall it and check clearances and all this I'd like to get a new thrust washer thrown on there um, and everything measured out for uh, bring obviously bring my pistons and my rods to get them measured out for bearings um, so I can get those ordered. That's like pretty much the only thing I'm missing from this build is whether I want to do direct injectors or not and the bearings. Everything else, actually today my engine rebuild kit just shipped from Shop Dap. So 
And if I want to do bigger port injectors, I mean, they're easy enough to swap, but I need to think of all the things I want to do, especially things that could relate to a tune. Um, Cause I don't want to pay for another tune after I pay for another tune, which I'm going to have to anyway, cause I want like a 91 and an 85. Anyway, rambling here. Uh, look out for the next one. The cams will be coming out. And then uh, we'll get the head off and get a look at these pistons. Pop these pistons out. I'll probably give three out of the four away with merch whenever that gets done. And uh, keep one for myself as a desk ornament. So look out for the next one. Trans is here. I'm fucking hyped. Ready to get this motor done. <laughs> Any uh, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. I'll catch you on the flip flop.